May the good Lord bless you and guide you in Jesus' name. Amen. Our topic today is God will use your brokenness. Each of us come from various backgrounds and upbringings that shape our character and struggles. We have been broken by others, broken by this world, and are undeniable broken at the core of our being. For the Christian, we may have trouble reconciling with the wise of our heartbreaks. Why did God allow that? Why did do I struggle against this sin? Why won't he just take this pain away? I myself have wrestled, sometimes still do, with these very questions. At times they have come from my leaves in a humble request for understanding, but many times my why has been spoken with tears on my cheeks and anger in my heart. In my work with Lord, I've learned that He uses our brokenness in stunning ways. He does this not only in our own, in our own life, but also in the lives of others and to show the world His gospel story. Broken by others and the world, many of you have had a rough life. Whether your childhood was filled with sorrow or you have constantly faced trials, in our adulthood. I know there are some out there with scars deeper than the grand crayon. Do you know that not only can God heal your heart, but he can also use the tragedies of your life for good? That he will use them for good? I know because my life has been an example of that. Because of sin, we will experience pain and loss. It's inevitable. People will hurt us, sometimes in various grievous ways. God never promised that our lives would be easy. But if we are His, He, do, he does promise to use our pain for our good and His glory. And we know that for those who love God, all things work together for good. For those who are called according to His purpose, Romans chapter 8 verse 28. One of the biggest ways a Christian can share the gospel is through sharing their story. The believer's testimony of what God has done in their life is necessary to spread the good news. When a person has every earthly right to hold on to bitterness against the person who abused them and yet stands willing and ready to forgive that person, a light is shone on Christ. When a child grows up in the foster system, and experiences heartbreak after heartbreak and then uses their adult life to care for orphans, God is seen. When the Son of God willingly walks the road to Calvary, carrying the cross we deserve and dies a horrible death on our behalf, even while we, we are still sinners, Romans chapter 5 verse 8, and then is raised to life, the gospel is victorious. You see, oftentimes it is through great suffering that God produces life abundant. Your testimony, your childhood, your experiences will be used to glorify Him and encourage others. Allow God to use your life to bring hope to His people. Not only that, we rejoice in our sufferings, knowing that suffering produces endurance and endurance produces character, and character produces hope, and hope does not put us to shame, because God's love and has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit, who has been given to us. Romans chapter 5, 3-5 to five. Broken at our core Let us be frank, we are straight up sinful. There is no denying it. And a lot of times we break ourselves and cause our own pain by our actions. I will never forget the first time I recognized why God had allowed me to travel the path I did before he saved me. I was looking into the face of a crying teenager who was revealing to me the manipulating and abusive actions of her boyfriend. Because I had been in 
her sport only years before i was able to minister to her like no one else could in that moment i was able to key in on lies she was believing and truths she needed to hear i was able to genuinely emphasize emphasize with her i remember thinking this is why god allowed me to experience that so he can use me to warn and help others Nobody in life will say that he or she has not faced struggles. He or she have not entered into one problem or the another. Another way he uses our sin is on our struggles. We all have seen we are prone to. Sometimes those battles feel exhausting. We can often feel alone in our struggle, but we are not. There are many people who have the same draw towards whatever sin it is you may face whether it is loss anxiety anger no sin is uncommon to man first corinthians 10 13 god can and will use you even in the midst of your wrestling match with sin he will use what you have learned in other others lives this is why it is important to be open with fellow believers about our failures therefore confess your sins to one another and pray for one another that you may be healed the prayer of a righteous person has great power at his is working james chapter 5 verse 16 god will also use your brokenness to grow you in christ and also bring you closer to him there's one of my sister she battles severely with anxiety she was often wondered if she would ever be normal but god has used her anxiety to draw her closer to himself and cause her to rely solely on him he could be using your brokenness to do the same this is a gracious thing the god of the universe loves us enough to draw us sinful humans near to his holy heart friends that's truly amazing i pray you answer the call of his drawing I pray you grow in your trust that he is giving, even when your life is filled with bad. He's walking in the brokenness. He doesn't tire. He doesn't tarry. He is for you and he is faithful. Hallelujah. The Lord is with you at all times. Whatever that is in you that is disturbing you, that has brought brokenness in you, Almighty God will see you through.